Hey Nine Month Club mums, this is Nisha, www.thenineMonthClub.com Today I want to talk to you about the number one biggest mistake that um, w pregnant women make when they're starting a pregnancy fitness programme and that is not being prepared mentally for what they're um, for what they want to achieve. So you've probably been there a million times before. You start, you buy a program, uh, you download it, or you you know you put on the DVD. You do it for a week or so with all guns blazing. You're really going for it, and then the novelty starts to wear off, and you start to make excuses for yourself. Um, you know, you you might be out with the girls for lunch, and you feel like having um, something that's really not a healthy meal. You want a glass of wine. Um, you may be feeling um, too tired one afternoon and you really can't be bothered to do your workout but you know deep down in your heart it's not because you, um, you're feeling unwell but it's just because you've got okay, a strong case of that I can't be bothered and the excuse always comes down to the same thing. Um, no matter who you are during your pregnancy all of us women have the same idea um, as we go through the first few weeks of our pregnancy and that is um, you know, I'm pregnant. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter if I have, uh, you know, an, a, a brownie every day. It doesn't matter if I have, you know, a, a couple of glasses of wine at the weekend. It doesn't matter if I have um, a tall latte every day. I'm pregnant. I, you know, I want to treat myself well. I want to. I want to feel like I'm relaxed during my pregnancy, and I can't be bothered to hold myself accountable to my normal health and fitness goals. So. You know, it's fine if it happens occasionally, but what always happens in the first few weeks of pregnancy is we get carried away with it because we think we can eat what we like, we can't see the weight going on necessarily because we're pregnant anyway, and um, we'll get to about 20 weeks, and this happens all the time. I've had so many people join up my community and come to me asking, you know, I'm 20 weeks, I've eaten so much, I haven't done any exercise, and I don't know what to do. Is it too late to get it back? No, it's not too late to get it back but you need to be mentally prepared to do it. So, you know, there's no point just going and trying to do a pregnancy fitness program and thinking, yeah, I'll do the nutrition now, I'll do the exercise. If you haven't actually um, sat down with yourself and, and asked yourself um, deep down inside you, what do I really want out of this? So today I'm gonna to teach you the most powerful tool that I know of um, to keep you motivated and on track um, during um, your pregnancy fitness program, but in fact you can apply this to any other area of life where you wanna achieve a goal. Um, so get your journal, get a pen, and let's go through this. First of all, I want you to write down your top three priorities, so your top three goals, burning, itching, really pressing desires that you just have to have um, to do with your pregnancy fitness program. So it could be, um, you know, I really want to get my nutrition and my physical fitness on track because um, I'm worried about the health of my baby. I'm re I want to get my um, body in shape because I'm scared of putting on loads of weight so that I'm um, you know, it's going to make my labour difficult. I want to have a short and easy labour because I'm terrified of labour at the moment. Um, I want to um, get myself prepared mentally because I want to have loads of energy through my pregnancy. I want to be a healthy and fit mum after the baby is born. You know, I want to be able to recover quickly so that I have enough energy to provide for my baby. And I want my self-esteem. I want to feel confident in myself. I want to feel proud of my figure. I don't want to feel depressed. I don't want to feel ashamed of my body. So all of these things, um, you need you need to look at so top three goals burning itching desires and then underneath those burning itches desires I want you to list your deep true emotional need why you want to have that um, reason that goal so it's not because it would be nice to be in shape because you know that's a bonus or yeah it'd be nice if I could lose my um, weight quickly after having a baby that's a bonus your true emotional burning um, need is um, is going to elicit an emotional response so it would be something like if I don't um, if I don't control my pregnancy weight gain, I'm going to put on loads of weight, I'm going to be really unfit, I'm going to have a terrible time in labour, um, I'm not going to be fit enough to look after my baby properly, I'm not going to have the energy that I need to stay positive and, um, you know, surround her with positive vibes and teach her about normal emotional responses during life and, um, you know, I'm not going to have any self-esteem, it's going to affect my relationship. Any any of those kind of things which are true deep down emotional desires, so that are your reasons why. So keep asking yourself why in answer to your first response until you elicit an emotional deep response and you'll know when it's true because it'll strike a chord deep inside of you. 
So we've got your top three priorities um, and now we've got your deep pressing needs, why you've got to have these goals, why they're important to you. And now comes the good part. This is how you are going to get results and this is the most powerful thing that you can ever use to get your results and it's all about taking action. So I want you to list for each of these goals um, one action that you're going to take tomorrow to take you closer to that goal. So that could be I'm going to plan all my meals for the week and do my grocery shopping so that I'm not unprepared and I'm not caught out and stuck for ideas when it comes to meals and I, you know, I'm going to stick to my nutrition plan. Or it could be I'm going to do a 15 minute workout today. Or it could be I'm going to drink two and a half litres of water. Whatever it is, write it down as an action plan then come tomorrow you're going to tick these off so schedule them into your day say at nine o'clock I'm going to do this at uh, three o'clock I'm going to do this at whenever it is you're going to do it get them done set a reminder on your phone set an alarm whatever you need to do get them done at the end of the day when it comes to about six o'clock I want you to sit down and ask yourself have I done my actions from today if the answer is no ask yourself why not Am I making an excuse? If there is an excuse, write it down because you'll notice that that excuse will come up again so you can stop yourself in your tracks next time. If you've made excuses and you haven't got them done, ask yourself, have I still got time? This is why I say do it at six o'clock. Have I still got time to do this before I go to bed tonight? If the answer is yes, get it done. Then once you have all your actions done, ask yourself, how do I feel? Am I proud of myself that I've done all this today? Do I feel... Um, confident? Uh, is my self-esteem great? Um, do I know that I'm making f um, great progressions in my pregnancy business? Do I know that these goals are going to be a reality really soon because I am taking action every day? And you can see how this builds momentum over time. So if you're taking three actions every day that take you closer to your fitness goals, pretty soon you're going to be there. You know, you're going to see results happening within 7 to 14 days time. So Come and join us on the challenge. This I've issued this challenge to my pregnancy fitness community already. I'm now wishing it to you. So if you want support on this challenge and you want to go um, and do the challenge along with other mums who are all blogging the progress, the goals and all the rest of it, come and join us at www.thenineMonthClub.ning.com. And I hope to see you there. Okay, bye.